In Google Sheets, the query function is a proverbial cash register. It also starts you down the path to learning more technical stuff. If you can learn the query function, you can learn SQL. If you can learn SQL, you'll really boost your earning potential in this space. So let's dive in. As always with the Sheets workout, we'll go through three things. What is it? How can you deploy it in your work? And a cheat sheet so you can actually pick it up and make it happen. The query function lets you take a table of raw data, say from Google Analytics, session data, and roll it up into just the metrics that you need. Every query function looks basically the same. On your left, you'll have the actual data range. So it'll be the tab name, rows A through Z. And then on the right, you'll have the actual query itself. So it'll say select star, where, group by, order by, all of these kind of query parameters that really is a language that you'll learn to speak. Don't worry about learning the exact syntax now. You can always do that later in the cheat sheet. So let's check out three ways that we've actually used the query function in the wild, in our Coding is for Losers uh, spreadsheet templates. So in one of our Coding is for Losers uh, keyword research templates, one thing we do is we have a bunch of keywords, right? They're, they're clicks, they're average position, all of those types of metrics. Um, and one thing we wanna do is we wanna aggregate up for you know, a big list of keywords, uh, what's the total clicks and impressions, uh, what's the minimum position, the average position, stuff like that. Um, so that is an absolute use case for the query function. We can write one query that will pop up here and, or maybe down here, and uh, it will calculate all those metrics for us. Again, don't worry about memorizing that yet. You can do all that later in the cheat sheet. In the same keyword research template we were just talking about, um, often we'll have a bunch of tabs for competitor data, so competitor keywords. So if we have five competitors, each one in a separate tab, we wanna roll them up first and then run some metrics on them. Uh, we can also use the query function for that. The same technique comes in handy all the time. Say if you're gonna roll up ad data, Google ads, Facebook ads, bunch them together, you'll use the same technique. So we know that life doesn't end after you calculate those raw metrics. One thing that I really, this isn't specifically a query itself, the formula, we can use one VLOOKUP formula uh, to pull all those metrics at once. Because we use query beforehand to roll up all those metrics, our life downstream is a lot more peaceful. It sounds like a lot, but query packs a big punch in a small package. If you're ready to write your first query function today, go ahead to Coding is for Losers at the link below. Uh, there you'll find an in-depth query tutorial, a bunch more videos, as well as that Google Sheets query cheat sheet that I mentioned before. And we'll see you again in another episode of the Sheets Workout by Coding is for Losers.